On November 15, 2024, the Brazilian Army announced a significant upgrade to its aviation capabilities. Starting in 2025, the Army will begin receiving 12 Sikorsky UH-60M Black Hawk helicopters, purchased from the United States through the Foreign Military Sales Program. These helicopters will replace older models, including the UH-60L Black Hawks and Airbus helicopters AS-532UE Cougars that are currently in service. The first Black Hawk is expected to arrive in 2025, with the remaining helicopters delivered between 2027 and 2029. The acquisition, valued at $950 million, includes not only the 12 helicopters but also 34 T-700 GE 701D engines, 28 Eagle M GPS systems, and 24 and slash ARC 231A radios. These helicopters will be part of the U.S. Army's multi-year X production program, which allocates surplus defense equipment to allied nations. This is part of Brazil's strategy to continue acquiring new, state-of-the-art military equipment. The helicopters will be based at Taube Aviation Base in Sao Paulo, home to key Army aviation units. A team from the U.S. Army and Sikorsky recently visited the base to evaluate and recommend necessary infrastructure upgrades to accommodate the new helicopters. While the T-700 GE-701D engines are reliable, they are not the latest available technology. The U.S. Army is transitioning to the more advanced T-901 engines, but these will not be included in Brazil's purchase. This acquisition also does not include offset clauses, which have been part of other major Brazilian military deals, like the F-39 Gripen fighter jets and H-36 Caracal helicopters. Brazil's relationship with Black Hawk helicopters dates back to 1997, when the first UH-60L helicopters were delivered for peacekeeping operations. Over the years, additional models have been added for special forces and search and rescue missions. The new UH-60M Black Hawks will be distributed to aviation battalions across Brazil, continuing to support a wide range of missions including troop transport, medical evacuations, and special operations. In 2024, a delegation led by Army General Flavio Marcos Lancha Barbosa visited the U.S. to finalize the details of the acquisition. The purchase is a key part of Brazil's ongoing efforts to modernize its military aviation fleet, ensuring enhanced operational readiness for years to come. Thank you.